Ahoy, mateys. This is Stevie Wayne, your nightlight. And KAB, Antonio Bay, California, is on the air. I've lined up some tunes to help you celebrate the 100th birthday of Antonio Bay. So, let's get down to business. Star Trek The Next Generation We're trekking across the universe it's the Solar One Sci-Fi Podcast. Ahoy there, mates. This is Michael Ball on the Solar One Sci-Fi Podcast. Halloween special, two days after Halloween. This week we are going to be focusing on a film which features uh, a lady who talks like this on her microphone. I'm joined this week again by my co-host. I can't do this anymore. It's to give me a sore throat. I'm joined once again by Martin Fowler, who's looking like something out of a horror movie because he's got a new setup. He's like a blob. I don't know why, but he's there, and he's sort of sort of pressing on and trying to do stuff. So, hello, Martin. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, we're filming this on Halloween night, but it's okay because. Uh, it's funny that where I live now, I don't get any trick-or-treaters. They don't come here. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like it's surreal. It's like... Uh... Oh, you, you don't get them around where I live. If they do, I'll tell them where to go. They're not coming <laughs> around my house. It's that miserable old get that lives over the road. I know. Where I used to live, we used to get hordes of them. And they go, trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat. Oh, and like, there's nothing. There's jack shit. I mean, it's, it's well, dark did you now. Buy any, did you buy any, like, stuff for them then? Did you? Do you know what? I forgot about it. I mean, what we did do, I'll show you this. If you oh, come up with Michael, I'm, I'm Michael, I'm what? really shocked. Why? I thought at least you'd have gone out and bought some trick or treaty stuff. Well, no, I made pumpkins. We made pumpkins. All oh, right. I saw, yeah, that. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So they were good. I did a Darth Vader one, which I was quite pleased with. Um, that's about it, really. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll have a look at some. We're going to watch a. A Halloween the sort of movie tonight, I think. I don't know what we're going to watch, but we'll watch something which is quite good and get us in the mood for it. Are you, um, uh, there's something I wanted to ask you, actually. There's, there's a British sitcom I'm after, and I can't get hold of it, and it's six right. episodes. And John Alderton did a TV series about living in a locker in a train station. <laughs> What's it called? I'm being serious. That's my, it's called The Up Chat Line. All right, well, I, I, I'll see 19, you from... 1980s John Alderton. He plays this dude, mm. and he, he, he lives he lives out of a locker in a train. That's his address. He gets all his mail there. He lives, he's even got an ironing board in it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'll have a look at it. Look for it, if you like. I'm sure that... Um, I can, let me see if, if I, I can find some information about it. Um, but, um, oh, yeah. the information's there. It's just finding it. I, I would open it and be on YouTube, but it's not Oh, there. I don't know. Well, it, there are alternative places to look, but, uh, yeah, all right. Um, so, before we go into our focus of the week, have you got any news your end? Anything you want to report about? Oh, yeah, there's Reboot of Battlestar Galactica. Oh. Do we need another and reboot? the film as well, and the film it's moving ahead because there's strikes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but I like I like both versions. Well, you there's know, some I... other fucking reboot coming. Oh god, a reboot of a reboot. A reboot of a reboot of a reboot of a prequel of a reboot. And Galactica 1980 as well. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'd, oh. I'd 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 like to continue from the original series. That's what I'd like to see. I would love to see that. I think they should wipe off that Galactica. Yeah, uh, and make it with the retro kind of, maybe slightly update it, but make it as in, yeah, yeah. not a remake it, or a reboot, a uh, continuation. I'd love to and, see And I'd take out the Cylons from Cylon 98 with the human Cylons, mm. and I'd bring Count Ibis in and the Beans of Light as light in the background. Oh, yeah, with... Uh, I'd bring all that in Patrick and, and, McNeese, and, and, and they get character. to Earth and Earth's an interstellar empire and they're coming to a war with Cylons. Yeah, like no, um, a different time zone. That's what I do, that's what yeah, I do. I know, go. I know, but you and I might do things different, but some twat up there in Hollywood is going to probably make it with toasters and uh, a woke kind of um, transgender Cylon, and, and um, I, I shouldn't even go there. Yeah, it, it, no, you know. don't, don't, because they'll all be out. After last week, I had to talk the Northerners from coming down oh, to... Oh, hey, your... look, they made the bloody film, okay? They made Alien 3, and it's, it's a yes, classic. Yes, but you're, you're, you're stood there defending the bloody film, you know? You, you, we I have to listen it. to that. We I have to listen it. to that. I, oh. It has, it's a, it has some good Northern actors in it. 
It had John Glover, I think it was, and it had um, John Glover. Paul Mc... Is it? Yeah, it's John Glover, isn't it? Paul McGann. Paul McGann. Yeah, he's he's from. Uh... Is he from Liverpool? I know he's northern somewhere. Because the McGann family are quite a load of actors. They're in loads of things, aren't they, the McGanns? Um, no, he's a scouser, isn't he? Oh, he's a scouser, all right. Yeah, because one of his brother famous. His brother was a big sitcom actor. Yeah, wasn't he? he was in yeah, that one. Yeah, um, he's there now. Yeah, he's in that one with the, that blonde woman and the kid. I can't remember what it was called. It was, it was, oh, uh, well, he's like a male nanny. The Upper Hand. Is it The Upper Hand? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Bloody the hell. Yeah, it's, cool. it was shy. It Anna Blackman, she was in Yeah, that, yeah, she was in it. It wasn't funny. I, thought I it was watched shit, uh, over the weekend. I watched... Uh, what? I watched Home to Roost Christmas special. I, I quite follow. like Home to Roost, it's alright. I, I watched it where they got that woman in his hotel and his entire family turned up and ruined it. I couldn't stop laughing and then any woman threw him out and he's in bed with kid who, who weighs the bed all the time. He's in bed with two sons looking up Christmas ruining kid <laughs> things in bed. I've right. not seen that one. Yeah, you say you won it. It's 55. Okay, okay Home to Roost. Months. He, 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 like all his kids turn up at Christmas and he says, what are y'all doing here? He says, well, we'll come see you for Christmas. He says, well, there's a, and he just says, I'm off to the Grange. I'm not, I don't care about you. So get the it guy, off. The guy, oh, and it all goes wrong. <laughs> the guy that played the son in that, of course, I remember from being in Threads. He was the guy in Threads who was the one who had the girlfriend and they were trying to, uh, they're just moving into a new flat before Is it all goes up. He was in Threads, yeah, he was the younger guy, he was the one, the uh, boyfriend. Ray Stinsdale. I don't know his name, yeah, but yeah, he, was he, the, he, was, in, he was the boyfriend, yeah. He was in that film ID, I don't know if you remember that, that it's, he was in that. I have to say, we, we've we got to review Threads at some point, we've never done that, and that's a classic. It breaks me out of that, does Yeah, I know, I mean, that's that maybe I should say that for next Halloween, because it's so dark, but yeah, that's that's a real, but he was great in that, it was just, he could have two different more roles in the, that in um threads and um home to roost so that was okay um what else we've got apparently we've got tales from the tardis coming on the doctor who side of things tomorrow from the time of filming um it's going to be uh the brand new iplayer doctor who thing where every episode apart from the pilot because the uh the writer of the first four episodes is a bit of a beep shall we say and not that letting them see it um and there's gonna be this thing with tales of the tardis which has some of the classic doctors i think they're going to be reminiscing on adventures or something i don't know if you heard about that but that's coming tomorrow right. that should be interesting uh but it's all it's all uh, gearing up for doctor who now the first of the three episodes isn't until the end of november which is a bit annoying but i will certainly be wa watching it um and then we've got uh, two episodes in early december and then we've got the christmas special so it's got a, quite a lot of doctor who coming up that's one of the only main new things coming up that I can see uh, which is well worth watching really so uh, like I said I think it's gonna be interesting I'm still dubious about how Doctor Who is going to be next season <coughs> but I'll be there I'll try it out I've watched some Jodie Whittaker's actually and it's not quite so bad on the second watching uh, well I'm not watching that you what I just can't do it with them. Just... You can't do it. So are you gonna? I mean, you've asked me this. Are you gonna give up with Doctor Who if it's that bad in the, after the Christmas special or what? No, no, you I do well. Know. You'll be watching it. I, 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 I don't know. Well, I don't be watching it. Well, I was trying to take a manly stand then, and you ruined. It. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like trying to make a point that you know oh. I'm gonna. But yeah, no, of course I'll be watching it. Now I did like the power of the Doctor. If, the, if that had been more like the power of the Doctor, I'd have been into Joe. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, I don't blame her. Just no, I blame no. the writers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's ah, that war. No, no, it is a shame. Um, but... And don't get started on that Dalek Christmas special because that's when I just wrote it off. Oh, I like that one. Is that the one with the uh, police officer that's got the? Um... Attached to her back, and that, and she's like, and they go, I like yeah. that one. I like yeah. that one. I oh, do. <laughs> <coughs> oh. um, any news? I mean, apparently, the writer strike in America, obviously, that's finished, which we know about. When is the actual actor strike going to end? Is that apparently the, next week is the it's um, the ultimatum where if they don't agree something, next, oh no, it's this week they're going to be talking about it. If they don't agree anything this week, then apparently it's all going to be put on hold until January next year. And I'd like to say on that notice that this will be the final episode of the solo on 
sci-fi podcast well, because all the fucking actors have gone on strike and we cannot cover any more well, stuff. Well, no, I, I thought you could say I'm an actor. <laughs> when I do this show, I'm not acting. This is this is true me. This is me yeah. for the right. world. Um, yeah, I don't know what. We, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. What will we talk about um, when if this doesn't stop happening soon? Because it's getting really get, it's getting on. It's been over a hundred days now. Well, I mean, have we got anything left? Is there? Have we seen everything now? Have we done this? Yeah, I mean, I've 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 seen two episodes of Loki. I'm sort of in and out with it. I'm not. I've Ooh, noticed. I've not been. That. I've not been rushing to watch it. You know what I mean? So, is there anything else? I mean, there's Doctor Who, isn't there? That's it. Doctor Who is the only thing. Is that no, it, what, then? All they're going on about is the animated Star Trek series, which I'm I'm sorry, I'm just not into those much. Lower Decks, they keep going on about it. I'm sure it's very good, but it's just not really my cup of tea. I don't dislike it, but it's just not for me. Star Wars, um, from what I understand, it's all, everything's on hold for next year. Um, Skeleton Crew, they've made it, I think, but they're not going to show it because they want to fill yeah, the I gap. Saw, I, think I saw a picture of the Acolyte the other day. I, I think that might, looks interesting. I, I certainly, yeah, I don't know what it would be like, but it sounds. And, um, I, and and I think, say, I think the finished film, I think that's in Cam now. Uh, which one, Acolyte? No, you know which one. No, oh, oh, the, the the one that we can't speak about, the the one with the with the guy with the green milk and the son and the mum and things like that. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Everybody, you know, a lot of people love that series. A lot of people say it's very, it very so long. Deep. It, it, it was so long. I think that's. I think it had some good ideas. I think it should have been six parters, not twelve. Yeah, totally and I think that would have been fine, rather than having like three episode arcs. They could have easily condensed each one verse into one episode. I think. Are we? Are we doing a live stream after Doctor Who? I don't mind. I mean, there's three coming up. You so... said you figured it all out how to do it. Uh. <laughs> well, it's what you told me. <laughs> well, no, I. I... <laughs> Yeah, I I think I I mean sorry I've done some with um with Side Trek but I I think we could try and do a live one but I don't know whether I can send you the link to make it live on your channel so we I could do it live on my know. channel I mean we could do it live on my we channel could do it, we could, yeah channel. yeah I mean I don't mind either way but we could do it live on one of our channels yeah let, let's well all right let's start it out there at time then yeah I mean we still got another month until we get there so we've got plenty of time to work okay. it out anyway. Yeah, so, cause I'm, I'm at a convention on the 25th. Okay. So that's on the 26th, isn't it, Doctor? Isn't uh, it? I don't know what day of the, which day of the week it is. Let's have a look. 26th uh, is a Sunday. 25th yeah. is... So I think you might be away on the actual day of the first episode. Oh, me? No, is that Saturday 25th? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, so that's what you, is that that what you said. Or, I think so, yeah. Oh, I thought it was twenty-six. Wait, I want to hang on, hang on. You might be right because in recently they've had the episodes on Sundays, haven't they? So let me That's have a look. Oh no, no, you're right because I, I'm still thinking of the old days where you used to get it on a um, Saturday and they changed it to Sunday. But I've got the feeling that Russell T Davis has moved it back to Saturday. Oh. Um, let's have a look. Um, First look at blah 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 blah. I don't, I don't care about you. I'm getting bloody adverts all the time. Uh, no, it's not it. It's just going on about the episode itself. I just want the actual dates. I should know this. All right, I'll let you know when it's close. I just can't find it. I just got advert after advert on this site. Let's get my nerves. Um, hang on. Let me just uh, do one very very quick thing while I'm here. Hang just... on. Hey, go. Hey Google, what day is Doctor Who on? Sorry, I didn't understand. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Fucking... Special, um, anniversary dates. That should, that should have taught, I'm, no, I'm not having this. Hey Google, what day is Doctor right, Who on? Okay, I found it, 25th. 25th of November, which is a Saturday. Well, go well Google should know that. Well, no, I did put it. I just typed it in really quickly. It's on the twenty-fifth, which is well, a Google Saturday. Me. I, I can't help it. I got there. Look, it's my Google. There it is. It says it on Google. Twenty-fifth, um, and then I know that it's. Um, I know it now because it's the twenty-fifth. It is um, the twenty-fifth, which is a Saturday, 
and then the second one is the Saturday the 2nd of December and the third one is the Saturday the 9th of December so Russell T Davis has moved it back to Saturday which he's always wanted to do because Doctor Who there's four of them in there there's four there's, them. well there's three of the 60th anniversary and, and then, then two the weeks, and then it's the new one with the um yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. it just still look it's, I tell you, I, everything I've seen of that it looks god awful it looks terrible well let's be reminded about it Michael let's give it a no, but it just looks it just looks <coughs> absolute shy it just looks terrible I've, I've said it from the beginning um it's nothing against the actor I just I just think it's gonna be really really woke and tick boxy and and kind oh, of Stop it, man. It, I it hate could, that. It could, it could be good. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, just, let's not jump on the coffin just yet. Do you know what I mean? Have a little faith, brother. Have a little faith. I've got faith of the heart. <laughs> no one's going to stop. <laughs> what well, well, we need now, we need that Enterprise thing just kicking in right now. No, I would, I, do you know what? I would put it on now, but you'll get a copyright strike. Otherwise, you'll have, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, give up. You can't do anything, can you, anymore? Can you? <laughs> can you? Do you know what I mean? That would have made it funny that much. I know! I could do, do, I, I do, I do make some stuff in, but I'll never, I'll get, I'll, I'll club it with that. I know, I know, I put some up. You know, I'll get club in. with that. And, and and they were about, to, they, they were like some of a second that had, oh, well, you know, this has been copyrighted or whatever. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I am. Uh, sick. I've got some yeah. things coming. I've got some pranks coming over at Christmas. Some big twelve-hour things, and uh, but yeah. uh, I, I've been partly blocked. And where am I block blocked? Russia. Yeah, yeah, I got blocked in Russia. Russia. Just Russia. I yeah, no, I did. It said you're being blocked, so I press button. Russia and North Korea. Uh, North is it Korea. is it communist communist countries or something? Well, or? North Korea is that dictatorship, isn't it? Yeah, you but know is, what? is North Korea communist though? I think so. Yeah, well, it's... so that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like they don't watch YouTube in North Korea, do they? Yeah, I don't. I don't think that we have a lot of people watching the Solo One Sci-Fi podcast in Russia. I don't think we have a big. What well, you mean? You mean that dictator Kim Jong? Yeah, Kong. or in he's, North Korea. He's a, big, he's a big fan of the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can see him like putting his thumb up or something. Like you know, he's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. leaving a, leaving a comment in the likes. You know, <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, Putin. What about, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I think if I'd be terrified if he were leaving comments, yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? I wonder what you'd say about the podcast. I wonder what you'd, what you'd describe well, it as being. It's his own ex <laughs> 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 Donald you know. Trump? Yeah, well, well. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I don't know what's happening with him, because I know he wants to become a... The, the president again next year, and obviously in the States. And, um, I, I've he's... not been following it. Uh, I, I, I'm avoiding news at the moment. Well, it's quite depressing, isn't it? I mean, it that, is, yeah. You know, yeah. That, whole, that awful shooting with uh, 18 people, and I think mm. it was in Virginia, somewhere somewhere in the States. It was, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah. I, I that, saw that. Yeah. That was awful. Um, but I, dig I digress. We're not a news site, are we? We're talking about... So, really, is there anything else to talk about in news? I can't think of anything. Well, no, the, the, the Battlestar, there's a film and a television series. Doctor Who's coming. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there's the new Marvel movie out, I think, next week. Oh, OK. That, there's that, but they're already panning it. Right. There's this series that's come out in Canada called Robin Hood. And they're all oh, attacking. you told me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not. It's it, they really haven't. It. Apparently, it's that bad. It's funny. I am really. I know that you're not a uh, follower of it, but I'm really watching the spin-off of The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead. I've just got to season seven, and I've got another season to go because they're in the middle of season eight. And oh my god, it is so bloody good. It is so good. Can I give you a spoiler? If you're never going to watch it, you'll be quite surprised what happens. Should I tell you? Yeah, go on. What? All right. So if you're uh, not, if you're watching, <laughs> if you're planning on seeing the solo one side, oh, the uh, Walking <laughs> Dead. If you're planning on watching the Fear of the Walking Dead, then just switch off for five minutes. At the end of season six, it goes nuclear. Yeah, there's a there's a character who has a nuclear submarine and they actually launch a new and part of the uh 
the world that it becomes nuclear, it's radioactive. Well, so well I, thanks for spoiling that for me. I mate. warned you. I, I would just you. one episode from the final bloody episode. I know you're episode. not. You've not seen one episode of Fear the Walking Dead. No, it's really solid. I, I can't tell you enough. It's it's like, it's just like Survivors. But why, except, is it, why, is they, why is he nuking the world then? Uh, there's, a, uh, uh, there's an actor called John Glover who's been in things. I love John in, Glover. He's the one. He's the bad guy. And he's a, he's a, knight, he's a nut. And he's a, he's, a, he's a murderer and all sorts of things. He breaks out of prison and he believes that the end is the beginning. He believes that destroying all life as it is, is the beginning of a new world. And he's the antagonist. And oh, he's so good in it. And John Glover is so good in it. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said. <laughs> that, uh, it sort of reminds me of uh, The Last Ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody it does have a know. vibe to that as well, actually. But um, it's it's different from the actual original series. But um, as someone who watches them, and they're all over the place, they're all concurrent, and they then they go off in tangents and stuff. I love it. So uh, if ever you want to check it out, I know it's a spoiler, but I don't think you're going to get around to seeing. It. There's a lot of episodes. What's that? What's that? A boo? No, oh, no. get off! I just saw. Bar what the hell is that on there for? What's that? Barbie. Yeah. What's that? Barbie's a film. Oh, it's a film we got there. I bought. You yeah. got a Blu-ray. You bought the Blu-ray. Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. Well, biggest film this year, didn't it? Do you know uh, what I mean? I, I think you should give it a go. No, I'd, like, no. I'd like to review Barbie, actually. Oh, don't do that to me, Martin. Come on. Don't make me watch Barbie, please. Well, it depends. There might be a price to pay. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what's the price? You're going to come around and shoot me or something, oh, or no, what? Okay. Well, I'd, I'd, well, I want you to... Uh, you uh, send me a letter, a bomb. I want you to do a national apology, make a three minute video and apologise to the northerners of this country. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Okay, I will, I will I'm humbly, just, no, I will no, say, no, no. I, although I have been to Sheffield, I went to Sheffield this year, all right? And That's I have to say, it's, um, it's, it's not another country, you know. No, but it might as well have been because it was a complete shithole. It was horrible up there. It was covered in graffiti. And um, it, I felt that I was going to get mugged every five seconds. I didn't like it up there. I didn't like Sheffield. Oh, oh. I know. I, I'm sorry. I like Liverpool. No, no, no. I, well, I, I come from Leeds, so it's different. I don't know Leeds. I, know, I don't think I've been to Leeds. So, I, no. so there's nothing no, against you. No, because you're not allowed there. The banjo. Oh, I think, what, what have you blacklisted with... me up there, have you? Is that what it is? No, yeah. yeah. The, the, the Northern Council phoned me last week and said, if you steps over the border, they're going to arrest you. <laughs> Have I got like my sort of like my number plate of my car in the database? And so <laughs> some camera but, you yeah, cross the yeah. border and all these like uh, flashing lights come along and like sirens, and then the yeah. police come out like chasing me out of the country, out of the uh, out of the city or whatever it is. So uh, no, I don't. Know. I don't know about Leeds. I wouldn't mind checking out Leeds. I don't know much about yeah, Leeds. It's very nice, actually. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Is it better than Sheffield? Well, I think it is because I come from there, so, so of course. At least it's very nice. Yeah, it's, and you've it's been to Sheffield, very, haven't you? Very, it's a very spacious place. There's it's a lot of green there. Okay. Sheffield, yeah. I, 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 in Sheffield's defence, I only went to part of it. And where we stayed at the hotel, I was greeted. I, we had sirens going off at 3 o'clock in the morning. And outside the window, there was lots of concrete bar barriers and gates and bridges. And they're all covered in graffiti. And, uh, yeah. So oh, you want to come to London? Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying. I mean, you know, Portsmouth. Yeah, you want to come think... to fucking London? No, no, no. But. You know, yeah. do you know I'm, I'm going to say this. Go when I, if I'm moving around on a bus, yeah. I look up and I see like tall buildings and there's graffiti on top of the building. And I think to myself, how, how the you hell. Get out there? Get up there that. To... Now, that's something you get when you're older, you see. If you're like 25 or something, you don't care. When you get older, you start to look at things like. Hang on a minute, that's on top of like a, a, a uh, electric pylon or something, and it has the word git at the top or something. Yeah, yeah. And like, why the fuck do they climb up there and do that? Where did they do it? Why did they do it? What's the point of it? Uh, it's, it's, it's some, I don't, people do some strange things, don't they? It's like the the, uh, the idea of throwing um, shoes tied together and, th and throwing them on a telegra telegraph pole, telephone pole, and they hang down. No, Is that's it, for, uh, in America. That's, that's uh, an American for gang thing. Member. If a gang member gets killed, they throw up a pair of shoes. I mean. Yeah, we've talked. I think we talked about this before. But yeah, I just think it's something weird. like that. I just think it's weird. 
Anyway, I think on that note, um, is this Halloween discussion? I don't know, but I think we should go into our focus. Who gives a shit? Anyway, it's our podcast. We were. Shall we go into our focus of the week? Yeah, we've got five minutes left. Well, yeah, but we're yeah, but we're gonna have to. Okay, we're talking the outline. We're gonna have to stop, and then I'll have to send you contact in ten minutes. Can we fuck off now and then come back? Do you want a one minute? We could have a one minute review if you like. Okay, it's Halloween. It's the fog. You've got to give it some respect, <laughs> haven't you? Well, then we're going to have John to come Carpenter. back. We're going to have yeah, to come it's, back. It's the John Cap and some of it. It deserves a full review. It right, does. right. I'm good. We're going to go John into Carpenter. our. We're going to go to our focus of the week, and we'll be right back. Here we go. It's the Solar Sci-Fi focus of the week. Okay, so this is, this week we are focusing on a film from 1980, it's a film by John Carpenter, it has the lovely Adrian Barbeau in it, it's got a lot of Jack, Jamie Lee Curtis in it, lots of other people, and it is featuring um, a weather phenomenon which you get quite a lot, but well, normally well. you don't stay away from it, and it is The Fog, and well, Martin, Martin is uh, also dressed up in a... Uh, another film which I think was directed by John Carpenter, which is They Live, which we have reviewed. How are you doing, Martin? Because you sound a bit muffled from the audio. Say something. Uh, can you hear me now, yeah? Yeah. Can you say I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on that note, let's go to the review. So, all right, Martin, this is a cl- I know that horror is not one of your mainstream things, but this is a classic film, but it's John Carpenter. Um, tell me how you encountered... That right? bloody thing. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, you're going to hyperventilate. Well, or not, you're going to get low oxygen. How did you find the uh, the fog? How did you hear about the fog? But, but my X-Men uh, Cyclops uh, goggles on. Okay. My optic beams out. That's that's what it's all about. Yes, uh, I found it. I, I I like the fog. I like the story. I I don't. I never really thought they were evil. Uh, well, they were. They, they were. They, they were seeking revenge. The cross at the end. I never thought they were evil. It was more about the humans and that guy over the gold cross. They were all the yeah, the vicar. Yeah, the vicar guy. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, it was an interesting premise, wasn't it? But it was. Um, I, I think for me, what makes this st- film stand up part of the way is, um, first of all, the aforementioned Adrian Barbo, Ahoy there, mateys, as you say, oh, very much. Um, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins, who, of course, featured on Halloween 3, Teasing of the Witch, a classic movie, which we have reviewed, and Martin was forced to watch, and he was very good because he did. Um, there's also Janet Lee as well, um, and um, well, you know, uh, no, 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 no. I really do think. No. So. Okay. okay. For those of you on audio, Martin is showing me a Blu-ray copy of Barbie, um, the um, uh, film from 2023. Well, why don't you put a poll out there? Then? No, don't make me do that. Well, I'm just no. saying that. Like oh, democracy. No, 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 oh, oh, God. Let democracy oh, God. take that. No, but I mean, I'm asking the world, and you know, I mean, like, there are people out there who are lovely, but there are also twats out there. And what are the twats make the, make the vote that, I, oh, God. Oh, I'm, Martin, I'm, don't. Oh, don't. Oh, God. I, I, sorry, I know I sound like a windy like eight year old, but um, it looks terrible. It looks like. It tastes camp- very good, but it's the bit. It looks it's like. The camp- biggest film of this year. Well, no, what does that say? I mean, what about the classic? Well, I mean, I mean, Barbie. Well, why not? It's a good. I bet you it's enjoy. It's a plastic it. doll, which you. I, mean, I you... went to see it, and I walked out there thoroughly enjoyed it. No, but I'm. All right, all right. Back to the fog. We'll continue <laughs> this discussion next week. Next week, I'd like to do Aliens Three as well. All right, Aliens Three next week. Yeah, all right, okay. But I thought we weren't allowed to talk about Aliens Three. I, 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 I thought, why not? Oh, great. I'd love to do A3. Uh, and I, I've seen both versions. Okay, right. Anyway, that's next week. Next week. Yeah. So, ahoy, ahoy there, mateys. Back to the fun. Ahoy. Ahoy. Um, so, this film obviously was directed by John Carpenter. 
It was also written by De- uh, co-written by uh, John Carpenter, which I didn't know, and Deborah Hill, and it was produced by Deborah Hill. So it looked like it was a very those two people were heavily involved with this series. I think John Carpenter did some of the music as well. Actually, you have to scroll down. I love John Carpenter music in his films. He always does such good music. And the oh, scenes, that, the scenes yeah. of the, I mean, the scenes where the fog yeah. is coming over, yeah. it's going bang, 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 yeah, bang, uh, bang, uh, bang, uh, bang. I love all that. Nick Pliskin films, Big Trouble in Little China, they live. Yeah, uh, they live. Oh, yeah. Big thing, Oh, is that synthesised the sort of thing? I love it. The thing Incredible. as well. Yeah. Uh, Christi- I think Christine did some music as well. I, I love, I love all I, those. I've never known a film director where he the does the music. music. Yeah, he does it so good. He yeah. did, the, did he do the original Halloween thing as well? I think. Well, yeah, what Halloween three? No, 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 no. Because he directed. Did he direct the first Halloween movie? I think he created it, didn't he? Didn't I he? think he did. I think he did. Yeah, Halloween. I, I mean, we we won't talk about Halloween three, but but he did create the character of Michael Myers. I think. I think he did. Yeah. I need to look that up. I know we're talking about the fog, but yeah, I think that's what put him on the map as well. Yeah. Commercially, before that, he was like an indie film director. No, when Elvis with Kurt Russell had got him famous, wasn't it? Oh, it was Elvis. Did he do Escape yeah. from New York? He did do Escape from New York as well, didn't he? Yeah, he did both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the sequel, Escape from LA, wasn't it? I never saw the sequel. Yeah. Have you never seen Escape from LA? No. I, 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 I've, it, it, I've got it. I mean, you recommended it. I, I quite enjoyed it. It's a bit cheesy, but. I mean, it's, but it's good. They have a lot of money. They had a lot of money to spend on it, and they didn't really know what to do with it, really. But, yeah. you know, it was State Pliskin were back and that's all you cared about. I will let you into a secret, though. You know the Ghosts of Mars? The Ghosts of Mars? Yeah, John Carpenter movie. I've not seen that. Ghosts it's not always interesting concept. I'd say that might be one to review. That was going to be the third Escape movie. Oh, okay. The story to that. for that, if you took the actor out and put Snake in, that, that you would have had Escape from Mars. Oh, okay. That's an, okay. yeah. It's yeah. apparently uh, that's, uh, but they did. They got some rapper in called Ice Cube or something. He did it. It's not a bad film. Uh, some people are not happy with it. it it's interesting. Um, I'm just looking up this. So obviously Deborah Hill and John Carpenter reviewed did the Fog. They both also did the screenplay for the original Halloween. So it is. It is definitely. And this would have only been made two years after the original Halloween movie. So The Fog has got a li- lot of links to that. Um, and it says, I'm looking at... Um, who did the music? Did he do the music? Music department. Um, no, it doesn't say who did the actual theme tune to... I've got the feeling he did the theme tune to Halloween as well. Yeah, I do. I think he did. I don't know. Because the music um, so outstanding for that, isn't it? The yeah, music. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, I, The Fog is a prime example of that because... He when he when he did Halloween in 1978, um, that's I think the film that really started to put him on the map, and they wanted him to do, do like another darker movie. I don't know whether he did Halloween two, which would have been a similar time. Hey, to the Fog. But hey, then he did, he did the Fog in 1980, and then I think he did the Thing in 1982. So this is the point where he was really getting into the groove of yeah, uh, uh, horror, uh, dark yeah. movies. Yeah. Throwing in his wonderful soundtracks, the scare factors, and everything else. Um, but I mean, it's interesting because I, I did put a poll on for the fog, as well as the um, the mist, which I, I, another film I really like, and Poltergeist. And um, in the end, thirty percent, thirty seven percent of people voted for the fog, and I had about one hundred fifty votes on my channel, which I was quite pleased with. It was quite a lot of votes. So it, it obviously shows that this movie, for whatever it is, or whatever it's it was, it's, 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 it's specific, isn't it? It's, it's, it's it, a very... It should, but I, really, if you think about it, it should have been Poltergeist, really, shouldn't it, really? Um, yeah, I suppose it's a think Halloween about. movie. I mean, we, we, we are using a Halloween sort of a film for, for the Halloween episode, which is what we're trying to do here. But um, yeah. I don't know out of those three, do you think Poltergeist would have been more... Uh, relevant to Halloween? Uh, I, uh, can I, I said to you in show, but Paul, I said Fog will win that. You did say that, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I'd have gone, if it had been Poltergeist or Halloween, I'd have definitely gone for the uh, Fog, sorry. 
I'd gone for the fog over Poltergeist. I've seen Poltergeist. I've seen, I've seen Poltergeist. the others that as well. I've seen but, all three of the movies of Poltergeist. Yeah, yeah, double. yeah, yeah. I mean, no. at first one I didn't mind, but the fog I've seen about three or four times. For some reason, I'm drawn into that. Yeah, um, I don't know what makes it. I mean, like I said, Adrian Barbo is. I've seen she's got in anything she's in. She is. She's yeah, bloody... she was in. Um, I remember she was in a classic episode of the eighties Twilight Zone as well. So, and she was in Cannibal Run. She was the the hot brunette in Cannibal Run. Yes, well. she was. Yeah. So we yeah. we all remember her for that. And the um, and the captain of Voyager as well. Oh, no, she wasn't. To be the captain of the Barbo. Yeah, she was going to be the original captain on Voyager. No, that was. And that was going to be Genevieve Boujon. Oh, was it Genevieve? Oh, no. Yeah, she was the one that she was on the show for about two days and they filmed some stuff. I'm sorry, but Adrian Barbo. No, 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 but she, Adrian Barbo, was in Star Trek. She played a Romulan in season seven. Um, the. Um, uh, not an ambassador, but there was the character that she replaced. And she was what the Romulan working on Deep Space Nine, who was working out the logistics of the uh, the the war efforts on her part. Um, she was so she has been Star Trek in that episode, so that's her Star Trek role. But I've always liked her. Everything uh, I've seen her in, I yeah. think she's a great actress. Yeah, I mean, in the end, I mean, the film. You think it'd be like the, the ghosts or whatever they are, the entities that would be the villains. They're more not, complicated it, than that. It's not. As, it's yeah. not because when I first watched it, I was expecting that. And by like when we got to the scene in the church with that insane vicar and the and the gold cross, it were like they were just coming back to reclaim what were theirs. All the greed and the backstabbing were coming from the humans. Yeah. yeah. And and they were the villains of it, really. You know, they, they were just seeking redemption. Back. They were seeking a. Um, an end to a uh, misjustice of who they were and that's why they came back because they yeah. they wanted to get their revenge for the way they were treated it, it was yeah, a bit weird it, the way it, they did it they but. were the people i mean that vicar i mean he got it didn't he i mean they all did didn't they and yeah but that was fantastic. weird because in the end of the film i mean we are sort of talking about the end of the film but at, at one point um the vicar grabs the cross and it kind of um it, it's like he's given it to the, to the spirits and then it's kind of it sort of explodes and then they're gone and it's like they took the gold with them i think that's what they did and it was like that was it they've got their their um their prize for the misjustice but then at the end you see like the fog banks are rolling away it's going back to the sea and the music going doo, doo, doo. that's the end and then suddenly you see a bit of a uh, mist coming under the, the the door and then the vicar and then suddenly all there in the church, he turns around, the one's got a scythe, and cuts cuts his bloody head off. And that's the end of it. Yeah. And Brilliant. Was, yeah, I like that ending. I think that was pretty cool. Um, it was definitely memorable. Are you surprised there wasn't some sort of sequel or some continuation? Yeah, I don't think you could have a sequel to that. I think as a one-off, it would you have think? been... Just, yeah, uh, I really do. It's just that you would. I mean, it's like um, you know. You want to say cool to it, the fog so I mean, what are you going to do? I with don't. It? I think, I, as you say, back. there's not much. You can't really do it. I mean, the story's told. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just that you think of some of these horror movies, like Friday the Thirteenth, the original Halloween movie, and they just go on and on, and they find some oh. lame excuse to bring them back, and it goes on, and I hate that. And I, I, I'm oh. glad that they didn't do that. They didn't have like Fog Two, Fog Three, the Fog the Revenge, you know, Fog Fog and his meets up, uh, sort of combines his his powers with the mist, and it's the mist and the fog, and then it's the hailstorm, and then you know, it's, obviously not, that's not serious. But... I'd, I'd say a, a film I'd like to see again, uh, at Nightbreed. Nightbreed. Clyde okay. Barker. That's one I recommend to review. Okay. Put it on the shopping list. All right. It's and I bought I bought last week. I picked up on 4K. I bought Cat Size. I want to review some classic uh, shrinking movies. I would like to um, review The Incredible Shrinking Man. I'm not doing that. It freaks me out. Oh, Why well, you wouldn't do The Incredible Shrinking Man? That's a great movie. No, it just freaks me out. Though. Oh, it's so good with the spider crawling. Hey, hey, dum, 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 dum. Really? No, it that. It was, it was him and the spider. Do you know what I mean? That was just. Yeah, when he's like um, trapped, he's trying to get a bit of cheese and that. Yeah, 
I um, love that movie. I think that film's really creepy. It's, just, it, it's not a happy ending at all, is it? Well, no, it, because he just well, it's, it's left open, but eventually he'll just die. So I mean, it's not yeah, really just keep thinking, don't they? He'll go into yeah. Some well, eventually you won't be able to breathe, will he? Because you won't be able to um, breathe in air the... molecules. Yeah, but I mean, it's open. Does he strikes like? Does he end up in subatomic or what? I mean, he could end up going somewhere else. I mean, you could, you could make a valid sequel to that. And also, Inner Space is another shrinking film I like as well. I, I'm up for covering Inner Space. Yeah, I love Inner Space. I like I the cowboy. It. And yeah, it's right. funny. Yeah, it's, yeah it does. it's a really funny film. It's really good. All right. Don't see the actor now much. Martin Short is he? You don't see him much now. Martin do you? Short. He was in. He he appeared in Mars Attacks. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was does. in Mars Attacks, um, and he was in the Three Amigos. He's in a bit yeah. not for years. I've not seen him for anything for years. No, um, I, was, uh, I was upset about Matthew Perry the other yeah, day. Yeah, I, I wanted to mention that actually. As of the time of recording, he only died yesterday. So I was never yeah. a, a, a fan of Friends. I, uh, but... Friends were one of them things. If you were in Friday night. And it were on it background. You'd end up watching it. I wasn't an avid viewer of it. Yeah, it was just that. It, it, do you know what I mean? Oh, well, I, I always said the rivalry because they had Friends and Frasier at the same time, and I was a ma massive uh, fan of Frasier. I'm enjoying the new Frasier now. He's come back, but Is I just one any good. It's all right. It's got it's got um, Frasier and his sons back, but the uh, Daphne and Niles aren't in it, which is a bit. But Nicholas Lindhurst is in it of all people, and it's it's oh, weird what, seeing him. Really? Yeah, he plays a professor, um, and um, yeah, he's fine. But I, Nicholas Lindhurst, I I don't know. I I just feel really sorry for him after his, his son died. So, um, but it's all right. I mean, Frasier's still Frasier, um, but yeah, it's horrible about what happened to the guy on on Friends. Um, where he just apparently just, uh, I think he'd had a few bevies or whatever, and he sort of like uh, fell asleep drunk and he slipped down yeah. the ground or something. It was a horrible thing. So, and he was also on pills and stuff. And he, apparently, he was quite a tortured individual. Anyway, let's let's finish off with the fog though. Um, I would just say that the fog though was a very very good movie. I really did enjoy it. Um, didn't they make a, a sequel to a, a remake of it of some sort? What yeah, they did. They did. I never uh, saw that. Did you see I, that? I've never seen it. Uh, uh, Imp from Smallville was in it. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that last Tom week. Tom Welling, yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah, never yeah. seen it. It, it. it sort of appeared and then vanished. It, it went out for long. So. I don't think it was very well regarded because. No, I'm not it. that, but I'm not even interested in seeing it, so. Uh, I don't fancy I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 I, I hate some of these remakes. You know yeah. why they keep remaking stuff? It's never as good as the original. You know it's frustrating that they do that. But um, anyway, so I suppose it's time to wrap things up. Anything else before we give our vote for it? Uh, no, that's it really. That's it. No, that's All right. Well, I'll um, I'll give it a, a I'll give it a seven point seven out of ten. Seven point seven because it's it's a classic. It's a good horror movie. Um, it's unique. It's got good music. It's got Asian Barbo, and that that puts it up a few points anyway for me. So uh, yeah. So oh, yeah. What, yeah, yeah. What's got his star get coming back? Oh yeah, I meant to say that. Um, according to Joe and Sidetrack, they it keeps yeah. changing. Uh, one, some points I'm hearing. That's what I'm getting a bit confused with it all. Because... It keeps saying it's going to either be a movie or it's going to be a TV series, yeah, and then it's going to be a movie. Yeah. I don't think. People, really, everyone is desperate to find out what's going on, and we're not hearing jack shit. And okay. I, it's getting, it's getting on my nerves. It might be because of all these writers' strikes and actors' strikes and everything else. It's put everything on the back burner. But you know, come on, for crying out loud! I mean, it's been months and months of us. You know, if they are bringing back Stargate in some capacity, it's time to announce it. Okay, even if it's the early stages, they haven't done the filming yep, yet. Yep, come yep, on, let's yep. just get it on because uh, this is getting daft, kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, um, if I hear anything, obviously I'll let you know. We'll, I, we'll... I do recommend you should watch The Ghost of Mars. It's a science fiction film set on Mars. All it's right. a John Carpenter. It's called The Ghost of Mars. Yeah. I do okay. recommend. I, well, I don't want to give you any spoilers. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It, 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 it's about a colony on Mars and something there. And that's all I'm getting. It's just, yeah, but it is not a bad film, actually. Had, uh, when was it made, roughly? Oh God! I, I think it was very early nineties. It okay. didn't do that well. It didn't do that, but that would have been the if, if Escape from LA had done well, that would have been the third movie in the trilogy. Yeah, you said okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I do I'm, recommend you watch Ghost of Mars. 
Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll put it on the list. I mean, I'm always that way. I mean, a lot of films, that, um, you know, this is what I like about the show. We, we do t tend to share films which we haven't always seen together. And, um, you know, and it, in the end, it's, uh, it's a, a sort of joint thing. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. And, uh, and no, I'm, I know. No. Um, for, for you on the audio again, Martin is showing me again the a very blurred image of that film with the plastic people in the plastic toy town. Um, and um, no. no. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hello. I mean, I tell you one thing. <coughs> do I tell you what, if we do like uh, a certain um, YouTube um, channel that we follow, sometimes that, have, no. have a drinking no. thing. It might be all right if we weren't on, sober. On our live Doctor Who show. You no. know. Oh, yeah. Michael, that... Michael will go step in the TARDIS for a bottle of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think I watch Barbie sober. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. think I can watch that sober. It just looks god awful. I know why. Do you know what? I know you well enough to know why you're recommending it because it's. You're telling me it's actually got a, quite a clever concept. And I do that understand that. Good. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> It's just, I think also it was all the hype of it. I hate things when they're really so much in your face and it's like, okay, this is a film and it must have spent have about... We, Go on. Have we, covered, have we covered hardware on this channel? Hardware? The, the sci-fi film made in the 80s. I thought we had. No. no it, it was this terrible film. That oh, no. I think we talked about it. It was, it was yeah, like a, wasn't it like yeah. a Terminator thing or something? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It was shite. No, what you told Thank me to you. watch it. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, you no, 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 you told me to I, watch I, it. I agree. I, I think it's it was shite. terrible, and I, and I, I don't think we we never. That, it was shite. I loved the hype for it, and I got all excited it was, about. It was, it was, I think it was I, British. Was it British or something? Yeah, I think so. It yeah. was terrible. Yeah, it was awful. It was one of the worst I've ever seen, yeah. and we never properly reviewed it. And um, I mean, at some point we should do it again. Just maybe because I saw yeah, it about yeah, yeah. two years ago. It was shy. It was terrible. So next week we're doing Aliens Three then. Yeah, yeah. I well, we to... have to move through the films, don't we? So yeah. We've got oh yeah. I mean, down. we've done the first two and um, yeah, yeah, the Terminator yeah, films as well. Around, so, yeah. yeah. All right, matey. All right. On that note, I think we're pretty much done. Unless there's anything else before we finish. Oh, scars for the fuck. What was that? The scars for the fuck. Oh, so I gave it 7.7, 7, I think I said. What, what's your score? I, I'm, I'm going to give it a 6. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, uh, yeah, all right, I mean, like I said, it's. Um, I think it's got a lot going for it. It's certainly unique. Um, yeah, definitely. And, um, as, and, and it's more the genre I'm into as well, even though you, you're fine with it. Yeah, all right, six point, so 7.7 7 and a 6. So I think that's a fair score. Awesome. Well done. All right, matey. Oh, I think we're pretty much done. Um, I think I'll wrap up with this. This is a funny thing. I did this ages ago, but there was this, this um, funny audio I've still got from years ago of James Corden and Patrick Stewart was drunk and he was saying about, I can see your belly. Uh, and someone did this, this musical thing, but I have got the video and looped it with the audio and it's just a quite a funny thing. And if you like Patrick Stewart, I love Patrick Stewart. But when he was having a go at James Corden, he was obviously completely pissed. Um, and it was just a funny how they had this spat. And it's something that's always, a, always appealed to me in my weird sense of humour. So next week we're back with Alien 3. This is going to be a good one. It's going to feature lots of northern men. So it should be proved to be a very interesting podcast. And I'll look forward to it. Until then, obviously it's afterwards. But I hope you had a happy Halloween. <coughs> and we'll catch you next time. Have a long podcast. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. I want to speak to James here. It is, it's James, isn't it? <laughs> From where I was sitting, I can see your belly, belly. I can see your belly, 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 belly. I can see your belly, belly, belly. I can see your belly. Sorry, I'm waiting for the punchline. Punchline. Okay, Ellie. One, one more. Sorry, I'm waiting for the punchline. Punchline. Okay, Ellie. One, one more. If you fancy the Jonas Brothers, cover your belly. If you fancy the Jonas Brothers, cover your belly. Belly, belly. I can see your belly. Belly, belly. You can see my belly. Cover your belly. Belly, belly. I can see your belly. Belly, belly. You can see my belly. Cover your belly. Sorry, I'm waiting for the punchline. Punchline. Okay, Ellie. No, seriously, go on. Sorry, I'm waiting for the punchline. Punchline. Okay, Ellie. No, seriously, go on. These people down here can see your belly. These people down here can see your belly.
These people down here you see your belly. These people down here cover your belly, belly, belly. I can see your belly, belly, belly. I can see your belly, 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 belly. I can see your 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 cover your belly, belly, belly. I can see your belly, belly, belly. I can see your cover your belly. Can we get a taxi ready, please? Cover your belly. <laughs>